Now, News 13, Sky Warn Weather. Here is a look at what we're dealing with here over the next 24 hours across the four corners. Cool, relatively dry air in place for us. A few weather disturbances will kick through, so we won't completely clear out. But temperatures, for the most part, in the 20s and low 30s for tonight. And then tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, mild temps out there with highs in the 50s and 60s for us. Tonight, 30 in the Durango area, partly cloudy, relatively cold night on the way. And then tomorrow, We'll see some clouds drift in and out, but still pretty nice. 60 degrees with those partly sunny skies. And 34, partly cloudy overnight in the Farmington area. And then tomorrow, we're looking at a high in the mid-60s, partly cloudy skies as well. But really, all things considered, kind of cool in the afternoon hours. 50s and 60s for us right now across the area. We've had our fair share of clouds for today. And realistically here, it doesn't look like we're going to be completely clear anytime soon. Temperatures, again, on the cool side, winds add to that as well. 24 miles an hour, Farmington adding to the cool temps, and then 20 in Cortez. Durango, not as big a factor. Albuquerque seeing winds at about 20 miles an hour, too. Weather disturbance kicking its way through Arizona right now. And what we're going to see here is that occasional disturbance kind of slide on through the state here and really across southwestern Colorado and northwestern New Mexico. So that is going to help to go ahead and keep some cloud cover around. It's just not going to allow us to get wet at any one particular time. So with that cool airflow in place and the occasional weather disturbance upstream for us, it definitely won't be what the past storm was, but a few of these at least will crank up enough cloud cover at times to make it feel like we have some different weather going on here versus just that cobalt blue sky all the time. But again, I wouldn't anticipate much in the way of accumulating snows. Maybe a little bit more coming in Saturday into Sunday as we grab another storm system coming in here. But this one, too, not all that strong. So we'll wait and see how it shakes out with this. This one over the weekend has a little better chance. And then it looks like a stronger system comes in for the middle of next week. And you know, all low pressure, pressure systems rather are not created equal. The one we just had was a huge one that came through here and did a pretty good job, especially across New Mexico. Well, the next few are going to be sort of puny by comparison, especially the one coming up tonight and then the one for the weekend as well. Not going to be a real big deal here, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Temperatures, though, definitely going to be on a bit of a roller coaster for us as well, thanks to a few of those weather disturbances. Cold fronts a factor as well. So we are going to see the temps fairly mild for tomorrow. 66 Gallup up into Farmington. We're going to be about 65 degrees and 60 in Durango. And then you can see warming up with temperatures in the 70s by Saturday. But by Sunday, temps dip back down again as that next system comes on in here and we see those temps fall off a bit. Nationwide, we do have some showers throughout the midsection of the nation here, especially in association with that storm that came through here a couple of days ago. It's all the same complex that continues to slide its way into the Midwest at this hour. Temperature right now. 40s for the most part around Denver, Rapid City, and International Falls. Meanwhile, 30s, Caribou 69 in Norfolk and 54 in Seattle. Across the Northwest Plateau, temperature is going to be in the 50s and 60s. Up in Pagosa, 57, 53 tomorrow in Alamosa. Durango in the low 60s and Farmington in the low 60s as well. Seven day forecast. Wouldn't get too worried about much. We could see a brief snow shower over the San Juans over the weekend and then a better chance of showers Tuesday into Wednesday. Farmington, we get the same thing. Dry the next couple days.